Hey there, this is Coach Bill, and I'm here to share a message of letting go of the expectation, a lesson in what perfection really means. As we sit with the word perfect, or the phrase that we resist so much that would say, I am perfect, perhaps we can lean into the why why we don't move into a space of exception rather than expectation. Acceptant, the perfect being that we are. Because sometimes if we lean into the truth, we recognize that it seems we can never do enough to prove to ourselves that we're worthy of peace and happiness and love because of our imperfections or the things that we think are imperfections. Even though we might excel in one area of our lives and do amazing things, we find fault in ourselves in other areas. We might wake up and feel proud of what we've done the previous day, but then we move through the day and we might have said something or done something or we feel ashamed of a mistake we made. When we speak or share with one group, we might feel important. But when we're hanging around another group, we may feel insignificant. There's so many ways we can measure our worth but what are we measuring it against? How are we comparing ourselves and why? So often we rate ourselves based on where we are or who we're with or even our mood in that moment. Well, one of the ways we can move around this, moving around the ups and downs of our self-esteem is to just be who we are in this moment to just let ourselves be and when we pause in this moment not thinking about anything else other than ourselves not judging our past or leaning into the expectation of the future we can connect with the perfection of who we are in this moment And perhaps see that in this moment, perhaps we can compare ourselves to who we were instead of who we think we should be. Perfection in and of itself is challenging. But that's only because our concept of perfection is based on judgment and expectation, right? We think if we make a mistake, we're not perfect. But doesn't everyone make mistakes? Aren't the mistakes the things we learn from? If we aren't happy, we think we're not perfect. But you know what? Life isn't always about happiness. If the sun isn't shining today, we think it's not a perfect day. But why? Who decided these rules that the sun needs to be shining for it to be a great day? That I need to be always smiling to be perfect. That I should always be this thing or that. The reality is that a perfect life isn't always sunshine and lollipops. Perfection comes from the lessons we learned from those mistakes that we made. Recognize that a perfect garden didn't come from a day that was always sunny. There had to be rain, there had to be wind, there had to be bugs. It's all those imperfections that make it grow. While the weather might not be perfect every day, that rain is just what the garden needs. We get caught up in our mind 
And that monkey mind makes us feel guilty or ashamed or sad or scared or bored or angry. And we think that perfection's nowhere near, but all of those things are part of us. We make a mistake. We don't have an answer when somebody asks a question. We say something that might have hurt somebody we love. Or we are hurt by somebody we love. And then we feel all messed up as if we're far from perfection. Well, that's why it's so important to set aside a few minutes a day to remember perfection is right here in the moment. We just need to reconnect with that place of perfection deep inside and connect to that inner truth that says I am perfect right here, right now. We need to remind ourselves that if we take a pause, the present moment in and of itself is perfect. As long as we don't compare it to a moment that happened before or the moment that happened later. Every breath we take, if we let go of the need to control it, is perfect. Because this breath gives us exactly what we need in this moment and helps us let go of what we no longer need. That's why we sit. That's why we meditate. That's why we pause. Because when we take that pause and let go, and we practice letting go over and over and over again, we can reconnect with the perfection that comes with just being present and experiencing what is here now. As we sit, and reflect. Even in meditation, we might not pit, sit perfectly straight. We might even fall asleep. We might think some crazy thoughts or feel a difficult emotion, but as we sit there and practice, we discover that the moment is still perfect. Those things are just thoughts and emotions and feelings. And if we allow ourselves to choose what it is we're experiencing, breathing in and breathing out, coming back to that breath, letting go of the expectation of how we should feel or what we should think, we can simply think, see things and think things. And then determine what we're going to do with that. If anything, because in this moment, we're everything that we can be. When we've sat perfectly for enough time, we start to feel refreshed and renewed. Then we can go about our day grounding ourselves in that truth. And over time, of course, we'll forget how perfect we are. Going about our busy day, getting lost in the expectations and judgments. And this is why we do it again. This is why we come back to it. But over time, as we practice, we get used to sitting and experiencing a few moments of perfection here and now. And we realize that those moments, those moments that we just sit with the perfect breath, that we just feel our body, that we just let everything be, are those moments that can carry us through those up and downs of our lives. As we continue to practice, we realize that we're not as horrible as we think we are. We've just allowed ourselves to get caught up in the monkey mind or in somebody else's judgments. We've lost touch with the perfection that comes from simply being connected and then we need to remember to sit still for a few moments to just breathe in and breathe out and there it is again perfection in this moment and recognizing that this moment is the only moment that matters and just breathe
And that's my message for today. Do with it what you will. I'm Coach Bill with Meditate School of Mindfulness and Sound. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering. May you live a life of ease. And may your life be filled with loving kindness. <laughs>